After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Snake? What do you mean? In survival training? I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Great. Now I see why you asked me if I liked snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. I have to find my own weapons and equipment. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? How generous of you. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. A real one-man army. Who? She. Paramedic. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? My name, huh? It's John Doe. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Very funny. So saving lets me record my mission data. Good to know. Huh? The boss is? CQC. Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? Gotcha. Northeast section. Got it. Right. You mean there's more? And that is? Is that all? Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Roger. I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I put them to sleep. Nice and clean. No one spotted me. I managed to get past them. What about the boss? What happened? Major, do you read me? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan, part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru, between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. Yeah. This is Snake. Do you read me? I got blown pretty far off target. Eliminate the boss. Because I'll be taking on the boss in her Cobra unit, right? I'm not a hired killer. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the colonel and his faction? And what are the CIA's demands? Roger that, Major Tom. What now? What do you mean? The wrong one. Oh, must have missed that one. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. But, yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. Is this her last chance, too? Mr. Sigant. Got it. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? Lali Lulelo. Gotcha. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. This is Snake. Major Zero. I was ambushed by the boss. The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Yeah. Okay. Eva? Did you make it without any trouble? So you're back with Vulgan. What about the boss? Better be careful. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? Try me. The universe? That sounds like what the boss was saying. Where's the truth, then? Are you lying, too? No. 
I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. Eva, where are you? Is he all right? Good. That means they haven't killed him. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north through an underground tunnel. Yeah, he even gave me the key to the warehouse. Because he was drunk, I guess. Hell if I know. What problem? A key? What about the key Granin gave me? The top of the mountains. Got it. Now what? Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Is he alone? No spotter? You can't be serious. The forest? Yeah, I'd hate to have it be the end for me. What's that? An ambush? Hmm. Eva, I found that sniper you were talking about. I've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments. Never. Sounds like this may take a while. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. Why's that? What is he, some kind of monster? So in other words, he knows it inside out. Don't worry. I intend to. Yeah, I'm out. Eva. Yeah, I just got down here. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Let me guess. There's a problem. What is it this time? He did, huh? I figured as much. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress, I can't. You've got to be kidding me. Is sealed off, too. Down here? But isn't the exit sealed off? What the hell happened to me? Other side. So that really was. Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? What kind of man was he? A medium? What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? Knew what? He died two years ago? The boss. And then what? So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. Roger that. Eva? Yeah, I took a pretty freaky detour. Nothing, forget it. Let's just say I'm back. I jumped into the river. Yeah, I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. What do you mean that's perfect? Where is it? A waterfall, huh? The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Agreed. The boss. Uh, yes, sir. Just like TNT. Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. I'll keep that in mind. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Eva, I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Yeah, she can handle it. She'll come through. I know she will. Paramedic, thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but calm down. Right. Okay. I'm running kind of short. Huh? Yeah. I know what I have to do. Like this. I've been better. I healed her up. She can manage. Yeah. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. What happened to me? Huh? Then what? The end did? Why? Why'd he let me live? Waiting? Hmm. Yeah, but why didn't he kill me? Major, I found the end. He's dead. No, I don't think so. It was his dying wish to fight me. But I disappointed him. I guess you're right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. I'll be in touch. I will. Thanks. That means a lot. Thanks. Don't worry. I'm trying. Naturally. All right. Okay. Roger. Yeah. I think you're right. Right. Yeah. Don't worry. Not a chance. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? It's just your imagination. No. What is it? Nope. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. I know. So then what happened? 
Where can I see the original? Really? That's too bad. Why's that? You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? You sure know a lot about movies. Not really. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. Major, what good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. Will you give it a rest? No, I, I don't even trust her yet. I realize that. Get the upper hand. I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Major, worked up. You have my sympathy. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. Nope, never heard of it. It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. I appreciate the concern. Okay, are you calling me a fish man? Yeah, you told me already. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. When did it come out? Guess I'm out of luck then. Really? You're kidding. Sounds like magic. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Everybody's afraid of the next big war, but there's only so much that one person can do. No, can't say I have. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Yeah, that'll be the day. Nope. So why did the spider turn huge? Yeah, right. Then what is important? No, I don't know it. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. No. Something wrong? Then you haven't seen it. You haven't seen it, have you? Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. That's terrible. So, you haven't seen the movie? Uh-huh. Conceal myself. Hmm, close at hand. Ah, I get it. So, you never saw the movie? Nope, never. Spaghetti Western? Gunplay? Sure. No. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good meal. Come on, they're not that bad for you. Just like a girl who gone. I can't say I have. Are you serious? Yeah, all right. If I make it back alive, I'll go see it. What? Uh, no. Doesn't sound very funny to me. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. Never. That doesn't sound like something I'd want to watch in my free time. The Major. Tell him I'll go see it as soon as I get back to the States. Uh, no, let's save that for later. I'd better get back to the mission. Nope, haven't seen that one. A giant squid, huh? Nope. Distinguishing between what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Sorry. Then what happens? Oh. I can't say that I have. Paramedic, what was that movie you were talking about earlier? My mother, the teenage whatever. Hmm. Miss that one. Have you seen all of his films? This was when you were a kid? That's when you fell in love with movies? No, I haven't. Not something you see every day. Haven't seen it. War and futility go hand in hand. I didn't think you were the type to go for war movies, though. A date? Still, you just don't seem like the type. Where is he now? I see. Y no, I haven't. Clones? <laughs> you mean a copy of a human being? Just to make copies of me? Like a thoroughbred horse. Huh. You know they'd never allow it. Some things shouldn't be changed. No, I haven't seen that one. Remember the Alamo. How ironic. Nope. Poor guy. That's why I call and save with you, right? Huh? Uh, right. No, don't think so. Scientists and soldiers, huh? They sure have it rough. If I see any aliens, I'll be sure to keep my distance. No. A classic tale about the dangers of rapid scientific progress. When human beings become too powerful, they lose their ability to think rationally. Hmm. No. Sometimes tragedy can be funny. Uh-uh. I thought you were a doctor. 
So how can you get so excited about a story you know could never happen in real life? Even though they're not real. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Pray. Yeah, even if your body doesn't change, your mind might never be the same. Never heard of it. We could really use a visit from that guy right about now. If only there were more people like him on this planet. Crocodiles. Right. But how do they taste? Do they taste good? Why else would I be asking? What was that? Good. I can hardly wait. Yeah. It wasn't half bad. What was that? Ant snake. Got it. So how does it taste? Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Good. I'll have to try some. Yeah. It was delicious. No, really. It tastes like chicken with a surprisingly light flavor. Maybe a little bit stringier than chicken, but all in all, I'd say... What? Oh. Okay. What's wrong? They come from Australia and New Zealand. They're a really pretty green color. What's wrong with that? And do you think you're normal? N nothing. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. Uh-huh. Uh no. The taste? A snaky kind of way, huh? Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? Okay. What? Eat it. Is that right? Yeah, I know. But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? Not as food? They weren't imported as food. Why not? They taste pretty good. So they don't taste good, then. Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Sounds interesting. Huh? I didn't say anything. Maybe. Got it. So... Yep. You're making me blush. Hmm. Tsuchinoko? If it lives all over Japan, then why is it so mysterious? If I have time. So what kind of snake is this, Tsuchinoko? And this is an actual snake. Uh-huh. Then how come you seem to know so much about them? Is it in that guide of yours? Then maybe you saw it in a movie like Curse of the Fifty-Foot Tsuchinoko or something. Sigint? UMAs. Oh, excuse my ignorance. Why does he know so much about them? The UMA Watcher Club? At the office? How does he get away with that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? Got it. So, how do they... Sounds delicious. I tried the meat. It was great. What do you mean? Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I tried one. It was pretty tasty. I can see why it's a delicacy. Really? Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. Yeah, I know. You really want to hear? They've got an appetite, huh? Do you think they're safe to eat? Yeah, I ate one, but it didn't taste that great. What else is there? Like what? This isn't interesting. So, how about it? Yeah, probably. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. I see. How do they taste? The flavor. Yeah. Something bothering you? Okay then, so, how about it? Yep. But it didn't taste very good. What's so good about it? Tasted terrible. What's that? They'll eat anything. Okay. So how do they taste? Naturally. So? You don't say. Yeah, it didn't taste all that great. Yeah, no kidding. What? Oh, really? I didn't notice. Got it. So? Yeah. You don't know. Oh, I see. That's a good point. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a delicacy, but it certainly was filling. Got it. What is it? Is that so? Stop it already. You're gonna make me lose my appetite. Yeah, you had to tell me that after I ate one. Paramedic. I saw a parrot just a minute ago. Paramedic. I caught a parrot. It's green all over with a large beak. Hmm. What? But I didn't say. Good to know. So, how do they taste? Huh. Well, if they're a kind of mackerel, they should be okay to eat, right? But what? 
Ciguatera poisoning. So I can't eat those big-eyed trevally? Interesting. So how does it taste? Fine with me. I never worry about the little things. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, not really. Sure, not at all. I'm fascinated by ancient fish. They're supposed to be huge, aren't they? Yeah, so, do they? Great, not at all. I love ancient fish. They taste pretty good. Got it. So this thing must taste pretty good, huh? It's a crab, isn't it? And crabs are good to eat. You don't like crab? Why not? What? Mm -hmm. Got it. Just save it. I know you're going to talk about vampire movies, Attack of the Vampire Donuts, or Dracula vs. the Space Hippos, or something like that. Oh. Hmm. What? I did. Oh. Well, no one really likes them, do they? Like you. Don't say it. Just don't. What? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, there are no such things as vampires. They're just a stupid made-up legend. Even if they do seem real sometimes. You think I'd be afraid of something like that? Exactly. I'm not afraid of vampires. It's just that whenever somebody starts talking about vampires, I end up dreaming about them that night, and I don't need that right now. That's all. Interesting. So how do they taste? Naturally. So? Damn. Why would it be obvious? Yeah. The what? What do you mean when it's small and when it's big? Huh. Okay. So how's it taste? Oh. Like what? Oh. Yeah. Huh. All right. No. Snake eater. Not at all. So, how does it taste? All right. It tasted pretty good. I think I'll have it again sometime. Uh, they eat their own. That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. Snake. I I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? Even I wouldn't do that. But how did those seagull feces taste? I'm just kidding. Sounds like it's going to be tough to catch one. Yeah, I had a hard time catching one. You know it. How does it taste? Not sure. Why not? Then I must be the first one. But for all the trouble it took to catch one, it wasn't that good. Uh, what was that? Uh-huh. So how do they taste? What? I know what they are. Do they taste okay? Good enough for me. Diablo what now? Hence the star apple. Sounds useful. For once. No, uh, back to the mission. I ate one. It didn't taste that great. Nope, it tasted terrible. Yeah, looks like that guide of yours. Hmm, yeah, it was pretty tasty. Galova, jackfruit, huh? Huh? No, I'm sure you... Oh, yeah, I tried one. It was pretty good. Yeah, I tried one. It was all right. I tried some, but they weren't all that good. How am I supposed to saute them out here? If it looks like a shiitake mushroom, then it must be edible, right? It was poisonous. It was a poison mushroom. What do you mean, am I sure? <sighs> By the way, paramedic, I tried that ural luminescent mushroom you were talking about. It was poisonous. It was a poison mushroom. Yeah. Are you sure that guide is reliable? No. Sounds like a horrible way to die. Yeah. So how does it taste? How does it... I heard you, but if I did eat it, it might taste good, right? Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? Not really. By the way, does that mushroom recharge your batteries when you eat it? I mean, it seems like if you ate a glowing mushroom, it might recharge your batteries or something. So you're saying they'll get recharged? Great! I ate one and it recharged my batteries. I thought a mushroom that glows that bright was bound to charge up my batteries if I ate it. And I was right. What's wrong? Paramedic. You were right. I ate a Russian glow cap and it charged up my batteries. What's wrong? Sure. What do you think it means? Huh? Spa. Spatsa. Interesting name. So, paramedic, what kind of mushroom is a spatsa? 
I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and? That's all? Eat one and see. What do I look like, a lab rat? What? What did I say? <sighs> I already tried one. I passed out. No, I mean I fell asleep. No, I mean the mushroom put me to sleep. Hmm. Paramedic. I ate one of those spots of mushrooms you were talking about. I passed out. Yeah. What? Well, how does it taste? Damn. And that's why they call it an ink cap? I ate some, but they weren't that good. Why's that? Meaning? Oh. I'd better go warn Granin. Nothing important. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Hell no. What? Uh, I need a drink. Calorie mate. Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? It was pretty good. Yeah. But what the hell was it? I never seen anything like it. What? Yeah. It looked good. So, what was it? Okay. But what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. It sounds like a space-age food. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. I've never been late for a mission. Huh? Is that why they're all so slim? I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Instant noodles. Wow. Yeah. I was planning on it, yeah. Is there some reason I shouldn't? Then what did you mean? Whatever. People food. I'm getting to like raw snake and mushroom. No, they're not. They're disgusting portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. Great. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. How can a plant be turned into a splint? I get it. A silence tranquilizer gun. I don't see a suppressor on here. Interesting. In other words, I won't have to worry about the suppressor wearing out on me, right? If it's still in development, then what's it doing here? It looks kind of like an AK-47. Yeah, I've never seen one like this. What is it? Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. Then they won't be able to call for reinforcements, huh? You mean throwing them at people? I get it. It creates a diversion. Yeah, they give me a flat image across the entire viewing range. Thermal goggles. Some kind of electronic gadget that shows the distribution of heat sources in image form. They're not just making good rockets, huh? Never underestimate the power of Soviet science. It's lighter than the M26. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, a 12-gauge shotgun. I know that much. Right. They don't call it the feather light for nothing. Not only that, but the barrel and the stock on this one's been sawn off too. Yeah. But why did those guys have an American-made shotgun? Mm, just stories. And now the Soviets have adopted the technique? Yeah. It's an M1911A1. And it uses a simple single-action system, so it won't jam up on me so much. Even if I get caught in mud or sand, it'll keep on shooting. Yeah. We'll make a good team. The Mark 22. But I'll have to reload it by hand every time I fire, right? Uh-huh. Hey, you used to smoke them. Uh, did you say leeches? Fascinating. I never knew a cigar had so many different uses. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, this thing provides me with all the bare essentials I need to survive in the field. Sorry to have to tell you this, but that thing is useless in a fight. Yeah, when the grip is hollowed out like that, there's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip is weaker. That makes it easier to break. Huh. A fork. Why? Sigint, you have to think bigger than that. A fork's good for more than just eating dinner. It's a weapon. Yeah, I can use it with the weapon button the same way I use the survival knife. Of course, it's not going to be much use for CQC. This mission is all about procuring on sight. I have to use whatever limited equipment I can find any way I can to achieve my objective. So I have to make the most out of every item by adapting them to different situations. Take this fork, for instance. 
At first glance, it looks useless, but it can be an effective weapon if used the right way. You have to learn to think flexibly and see all the different possibilities. No problem. And the best part is, if I use this to spear a snack, I can eat it right there without having to put it in my backpack first. Yeah. What is this gun, anyway? I've never seen anything like it. A noise-suppressed tranquilizer gun. But it doesn't have a... What do you mean? Fascinating. Wow. Nice. Good to know. A what? Yeah. But why? Why do you go to all the trouble of making it look like a liberator? <sighs> yeah, a 45. 50 years since the army adopted the first model and they're still using them. It's a real gem of an automatic pistol. Not at all. When you're in a tight spot or fighting in close quarters, sometimes a handgun works better than a rifle. And if I equip a knife at the same time, I can instantaneously switch over to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, Eva gave it to me. She said it used to belong to a Western officer. It's more than a little. First of all, the feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. It's not going to have any feeding problems. The slide's been replaced with a reinforced version, and it meshes perfectly with the frame. The frame itself has been iron-welded and scraped down multiple times for maximum precision. The front strap part of the frame has been checkered to make it dig into the hand. That prevents any slipping. The sight system's original, too. It's a three-dot type. It's got an enlarged front sight, giving it superior target sighting capability. The regular hammer's been replaced with a ring hammer. That enhances the cocking control and increases the hammer down speed. They also reworked the grip safety to accommodate the ring hammer. Looks like they eliminated it altogether. This is a tool for pros. The thumb safety and the slide stop are extended to allow for more precise handling. The base of the trigger guard is whittled down so you can use a high grip. And the trigger itself is a long type for easy finger access. The trigger pull is about 3.5 pounds. That's about a pound and a half lighter than normal. The magazine well has been widened to make it easier to put in a new magazine. The magazine catch button has been cut down low to make it harder to hit it by mistake. The mainspring housing has been changed to a flat type to increase grip, and it's even been fitted with stepping so it doesn't slip from the recoil when firing. On top of that, they added cocking serrations to the front part of the slide. That lets you load and eject cartridges faster in an emergency. Whoever did this is a professional. No question, this thing could shoot a one hole at 25 yards in a machine rest. Yeah, I've never used a weapon this fine in my life. Yeah, it's the same one the boss was using. Hmm? Sigint, don't get worked up over details. Never. Because the internal feed mechanism is shaped like an infinity symbol. I've heard of it, but... 32 ACP. I know, it's some new kind of rifle out of the West. Looks kind of like a black rifle. So, they captured one in Vietnam and brought it here? Hmm, they made it so it takes a suppressor, too. Why the hell would they do that? Stupid idea, if you ask me. Yeah, I've heard of it before, but... Nice touch. Hmm, it's a lot lighter than the M60. Yeah, it's what the end was using. Yeah. It's also been fitted with a folding stock and a pistol grip. Got it. So you can't use it from a lying position. I won't. Yeah, she made it so that when the timer hits zero, all four charges will detonate at the same time. Got it. Yeah, when the mine is planted, it reacts to anything that comes close and automatically explodes. I'll be careful. What are they doing making minefields out of western mines anyway? No problem. It came with its own remote control detonator. Night vision goggles. This gadget lets me see in the dark by amplifying light and displaying it as images. That's what it looks like to me. I'm in a box. I don't know. I was just looking at it and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Yeah. And then, when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe. 
Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Does any of that make sense? You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Ah. It's not a cigarette. It's a cigar. It's not the same thing. Why am I the only one who can tell the difference? Because I need it. I can't smoke a cigar if I don't have one, can I? Yeah. Some kind of drug. The label says pentazamine. Beats me. Anti-convulsant effect. So in other words, it can help keep your hands from shaking. This could be useful. Nothing. I just thought that if I took this drug when I used a sniper rifle, it'd help make my aim steadier. Looks like they got rid of the magazine safety too. So I can just cock and lock. Yeah. And to top it off, this one's had its barrel and stock sawed off. Ambidextrous, huh? Good to know. But what are they doing with an American-made shotgun? Just stories. Yeah, I hear you. So what you're saying is, it won't explode in my hand while I'm holding it? Oh. If I'm going to be stunned, I'd rather it be by a woman. I'm going to throw it. Yeah. The sound it makes when it hits the ground will distract the enemy's attention. What are you, a binocular salesman? Huh. I know. You made these binoculars, right? Yeah. Thermal goggles. From what I can tell, they detect and display sources of heat. What, is that special or something? So that's what that thing is they put on the gunship. But doesn't the army have something like that for driving vehicles at night? I thought I saw... <sighs> The Major told me the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah? Did you give him notes for it? Yeah, I've heard that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Just needed to loosen up. Yeah. Not a problem. I'll be out of here by nightfall. What's up, boss? What do you mean? Oh, this. What do you think? Looks pretty good on me, doesn't it? Well, I'll admit it is a little on the flashy side, but it does look good on me, doesn't it? You don't think so? Well, I think it looks good on me. Thought you'd like it. Sure there are. It feels good. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. Is there a way to take off my pants? My pants? Can I... <laughs> Chocolate chip? You mean this camouflage? I've never heard of a camo pattern called that before. Makes sense, but... Why'd you call it chocolate chip? What? Yeah, it's called a sneaking suit. I'm not sure, but it looks like what the boss was wearing. Yeah, maybe we should make it the official uniform of Fox. What? Why not? No, because I feel like it. A uh, tuxedo? It's called Hornet Stripe. I got it from the pain. The power of hornets? It's spider camouflage. It used to belong to the fear. It's moss camouflage. I got it from the end. It's fire camouflage. The fury had it on him. It's spirit camo. I think it was a gift from the sorrow. Sounds good. Yeah. What? It's called Cold War. Volgan had it with him. Really? You mean it's got advantages other than being stylish? Yeah. Don't you think so? Yeah. It's snake camo. Thanks for the compliment. I don't know. It's called Gakko Camo, whatever that means. Nope. What's wrong with being cute? Kabuki. Right. It's used in traditional Japanese theater. Apparently, it gives whoever's wearing it some kind of mystical power. That's what I heard. Paramedic. Really? But I was just starting to like it. I know. It's called Zombie. Beats me. Nope. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> yeah. It's called Oyama. Yeah, it's the name of an androgynous Japanese deity. That's what I heard. Paramedic. Oh. Okay. It kind of grew on me. But you didn't throw it out. Okay, but is it really that big of a deal? What's so great about it? What about the lips? Can it open its mouth? I'm serious. Sorry? How does it look? Huh? It does? I don't think cool is the right word. What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? 
Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? Oh. Oh, the... What? No. Right. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, forget it. Eva, what do you think? All right, finally I get a normal response. Everyone was giving me strange responses and acting like nothing was odd about it. I was starting to wonder myself, but now I feel better. All right. <sighs> My mouth hurts when I talk. It feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Is that a movie? Ugh, change the channel. Wait, isn't this? Come on, I don't want to hear this. Dracula. Uh, uh, I'll try. Uh, Major, what year is this? Where am I? No, was it a dream? It was almost real. I was holding this sword in my hand. Not at all. I'll make it back no matter how much of that sulfuric acid they make me drink. Yeah, dream a little dream of your own while you wait for word from me. What do you think? No, I'm feeling fine. I had the most amazing dream thanks to you. Say it. The last thing I need is a double feature. It was surreal. I was being attacked by a horde of weird human-like monsters. What's wrong with me? I've got a different theory. I think it was caused by your pillow talk. All right, I forgive you. Yeah, I intend to. Yeah, I had a terrible dream. I don't want to think about it. I was being attacked by monsters that looked human, and I'm not even sure if I was really me. True. I sure hope so. That's pretty sick, man. Yes, that's a good thing. Yeah, got it. Right, Eva... Do they drug the prisoners here with hallucinogens? I had a pretty bad dream. This monster that I'd never seen before was coming at me with a knife. And I wasn't me, I was something else. Ah, what do you mean? Maybe so. Any song? Sounds fun. Thanks. Yeah, so I gathered. Right. I'll have to take them all out. Stun grenades? No. They kind of look like AKMs, but they're different. They've got steel handguards and vertical type foregrips, and the muzzle suppressor is bigger. Paramedic, no. These hornets won't go away. Yeah, they've been flying around over my head in a figure eight pattern and won't go away. Any idea why? Food, what does it mean? Good point. Who said I couldn't? But I don't have any serum. Yeah, I know. But there's no other way. Roger that. Yeah, and I hear they've got snipers too. Major, Eva's escape route is... Major, I found a door. No, I'll try. Major, it looks like the door won't open. Yeah, it's the ocelot unit. Yeah, it's the ocelots again. Major, they found the C3. Shake him up. Why? Major, yeah. Yeah, but the hangar is still standing. Yeah, but the hangar is still intact. But the fuel tanks were definitely... Major, the Shagahod. Major, we're about to head for the rail bridge. I know. We're almost out of fuel, too. But it only needs to get us to the lake. Just a little further. I know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There was, but... Perfect? Yes. Not yet. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, got it. To the northeast. Oh, Major. I was actually trying to head this way, but... Major, I'm in front of Sokolov's cell, but the door won't open. Condition. Alert. Evasion. <sighs> What's dangerous about it? A bottomless swamp. So, I have to make sure I don't sink too far. Got it. There's more. What? Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Like the reptile. What are crocs doing deep in this forest? Yeah. Why? It's empty. There's a crevice under this fallen tree. Yeah, but... Was that the only reason? You had me check it just so you could tell me that? Right. By all means. Yeah. Just ordinary grass. 
nothing special. It's pretty thick grass, about waist high. Major. Yeah. I'm okay. No. Yeah. Huh? Uh, uh, I hear you. Yeah, I am. Uh, procure on sight. But don't you think I should have at least brought a few rations? Roger that, sir. I hope you're right. I know. No suppressor lasts forever. I know. Time for the real deal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. Snake, in order to carry out the mission without being spotted, you must learn to detect an approaching enemy well ahead of time. Press the first person view button and use the first person view to constantly check your surroundings as you proceed. I put it in my backpack first. Yeah, the only things that can be equipped with the weapon and item window buttons are items on my person. I understand, but that doesn't sound too accurate. How do you mean, boss? <sighs> so I'll have plenty of chances to use CQC then. Yeah, I know. You created CQC to deal with exactly this type of situation. So in other words, I can't throw enemies with CQC when I'm holding an assault rifle or a hand grenade. Why's that? So in other words, I can use the stuff I pick up right away? You don't need to remind me. Glad to hear what? Hmm? I'm not nervous. <sighs> so basically, I should avoid getting into battles, right? You don't have to tell me. No, not at all. I'm not acting. <sighs> yeah, but... <sighs> Such as... Arrest. So the longer I rest, the more I'll recover. I hope that never happens. I won't. What do you mean? Gotcha. Why? Won't like it. Why not? Yeah. The abandoned factory. That's where I met Sokolov during the Virtuous mission. I know. I know. I had a little bit of training, but I'm no doctor. Yeah. I know a horse when I hear one. So what should I do, Major? Uh, seems that way. You told me this before. Yeah, yeah. Now to meet up with this Adam guy. So where is he? How about a time? A physical description? How am I supposed to find him then? Huh? Uh, yeah, it's a swinging door. Obviously. He can't let Volgan know he's meeting me. Yeah. But I don't have any serum. Yeah. Can we trust her? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double-cross me? So you're saying I can trust her? Ah. Uh, Roger. Right. You mean what Eva told me? Of course I do. Major, do you think I'd forget something like that? First I head north. And then I'll come to a crevice. First, I head toward the back of this cave, and then I'll come to an aqueduct. First, I follow this aqueduct north, then I'll come to a warehouse, and then... Uh, yeah. I got it, I got it. Basically, I just head north, right? Yeah, tell me about it. Inside information. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. A high-voltage electric current. Huh. Electrify barbed wire, huh? Looks like I'll have to find another way around. It won't. Clappers? No. Hmm. But there's no other way to get to the crevice if I don't make it through. Eva, there's an attack helicopter docked at the heliport. Uh, no. Sounds like a plan. But how? There's no way I'm going to punch through that armor with an assault rifle. Isn't there a weapon somewhere that can do some real damage? Major. No. That was a hell of a drop, but I'm fine. Looks like there's no way back up, though. All right. But it might take me a while to get through this cave. No. Not that either. It's dark in here. Yeah, there's no light anywhere. I should have brought a flashlight with me. Right. Here we go again. Nothing. Yeah, of course I am. I know. They look familiar, like the ones I saw during the Virtuous mission. That's what Ocelot was saying, too. I will. 
Yeah, just barely. What the hell were all those hornets? I figured as much. Are they tracking me? No kidding. Is pitch dark inside. <sighs> torches. Got it. So where are they? Where are the torches? Major, Eva isn't responding to the radio. Right. Got it. Flying platforms. I've heard stories, but... Major, Sokolov's been hauled off. Yeah. Major, this door... No. That's what I thought, but there's no keyhole. Punch card. Yeah, I noticed. There's a rope stretched along the ground. Yeah, thanks, Major. I found a... Yeah. I know that. How am I supposed to do that? I can't open the door. I'll give it a shot. Major, I tried to open the door, but no dice. Yeah, it looks like they mistook me for a scientist trying to escape. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Major, Sokolov's already been moved to the fortress. No, he wasn't lying. Gut feeling. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad near the summit. Yeah, she said we'd meet up in the ruins at the top of the mountains. She also said she picked up the key to get into the tunnel that leads to Groznygrad. Major, Eva said they finished testing the Shagohod. Yeah. They'll need to keep him alive until he's done, but once those preparations are completed, I'm on my way. I'm on it. Yeah, the end. But there's no other way. I know. The end, right? I won't be able to move on. Then I'll just have to beat him. The ocelots, right? I, uh... Yeah, just one more left. Yeah, just two more left. I know. Yeah, she's supposed to bring me the key. It's no good. I'll give it a try. Major, Eva was right. I can't get the door open. So, what do I need to be careful about? Ah, uh, okay. Sigint, the chopper we were talking about is flying around. Yeah, just my luck. I don't have any weapons that'll work against them. A portable rocket launcher, huh? That should be enough to swat bothersome flies. Don't worry, I found an RPG-7. That should be enough to swat down a few flies. Eva, this door won't open. Why not? <sighs> I don't see it. Nope. Uh -huh. So it would seem. What? Of course I do. The tunnel to Groznygrad. Yeah. It's over there. No, I mean it's over here. Or was it over that way? So it was over there. Yeah. I haven't forgotten. Right. Finally. No kidding. Yeah, it doesn't have a keyhole or a slit to insert a card. How's it supposed to work? Sigint, this door is... All right, but why? Why do I have to steal Rykov's clothes from him? What about that scientist outfit? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Major, I disguise myself as Rykov. What? No good? Yeah. Why? This look should make me more popular. Eva, I disguise myself as Rykov. What's wrong? Not right. What? What is it? Let's say what now? Well, I would hope not. Do what? Major, I wouldn't say all right, but at least I'm alive. But they took all my weapons and equipment from me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not finished with him yet either. I don't think so. Huh. What was it, then? You can't remember either, can you? Huh. Major, I tried punching the wall here. The sound is different. Yeah. No. Major, I dug out the bullet the boss shot into me. There was a fake death pill inside. Yeah. What does it mean? You're saying the boss was trying to help me? But why? <sighs> yeah. It was buried in a wound. I think Ocelot did it. He must be expecting me to get out of here. All right. He must have been expecting me to escape from that cell. Of course not. Major, I'm sorry. Sokolov, I couldn't... <sighs> right. Yeah, a single action army. I'm not sure. I can't. No bullets. Paramedic, how do I make myself throw up? I need to throw up. 
Anything's fine, I just need to vomit. Eva said I might be able to get the guard to open the door if I pretend to be sick. What did you think it was? Huh? What is it? Why? Oh, that's a relief. I was being sarcastic. So the guard will bring me food and medical supplies, huh? Pretending to be sick? Why? Can't blame the guy. Nothing. Don't worry about it. A specific radio frequency? Sounds good. Do you know the frequency? Eva, did you find out the frequency I need to open the door? Great. No, I've only got a few single-action army rounds. I've got a fork? Not yet. Yeah, now I can finally go on the offensive. Yeah, and then some. Eva, about the contents of the backpack you got for me. Eva, what's your status? Okay, when you're done planting the C3 on the bridge, how are things on your end? Hey. Not a problem. Eva, about our escape plan. How exactly are you planning to get to the lake? That's not what I meant. That's where you hid the wig? Hm? Oh, I, uh, absolutely not. I didn't think you thought so. Ha ha ha. Roger. Wait a second. The higher my stamina, the faster my battery recharges? But what does my stamina have to do with the battery? Bioelectricity. Amazing the kind of machines that are available now. What kind of person was he? Yeah. Stranger than the Major? Mm hmm Yes. Of course not. Food alone doesn't heal wounds. Food only recovers stamina. Why do you ask? Well, was he some kind of idiot? Yup. Sweet dreams, Boy Scout. Sipping hot coffee on a plane back home. Hmm? Sipping hot coffee on a... Okay, then. What would you drink? Military politics never was my strong suit. Right. Understood. Yeah. When I do my business, I bury it good. What's wrong? American way for what? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Major, it's about your code name. Yeah. Where'd you get that name? A tunnel? No. I see. So Tom was an escape tunnel. Did they make it? I get it now. So Tom was the tunnel they used to escape. What is it? Major. Hmm. Major, what about my code name? Yeah, what does it mean? No, I mean the naked part. Why is that my code name? Right. The essence of Fox. Naked and pure. I see. Means more than I realized. Roger that. No problem so far. Except something seems odd. These men are on routine guard, but they seem strangely alert. Yes, but a drill is just a drill. But these guys, it almost seems like it's not. Exactly. And this is Soviet territory. But these guys are acting as tensed up as the guys on the front lines. Like they expect the enemy to attack them any moment. No, but something is strange. I will. Major, about this gunship you sent to Tselinoyarsk. How in the world did you manage that? That's a special operations craft that hasn't been tested in actual combat, right? Very impressive, but... Yeah, but... How did you get it here? Yeah. Is there some reason I shouldn't? Understood. Forget that I asked. Any problems? Excellent. No. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. I got it real good. Yeah. Not really. I didn't land in the right spot. A jumper who lost his pack on the first real halo jump. That'll make a good story for you. I know, but... No, I'm not embarrassed. Uh, nothing, paramedic. Nothing to do with the boss, I mean. Yeah, kinda. Major! Uh, you got something to say. I bet you do. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an insult. What? Oh, that. Interesting. But how does it work? I don't feel right taking some pill I don't know anything about. How does it make me look dead? How's it gonna affect my body? I get it. I should ask paramedic. Paramedic! <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Clear as crystal. Major, I've got enough info about the pills, so I'm gonna get back to the mission now. Major. What kind of place is this secret design bureau that Sokolov is heading? 
So you have absolutely no idea what Sokolov is developing? Then how did you get the information for this mission? It can't have been from Sokolov. The boss? Major, tell me about Sokolov's past work. And that's what earned him the job as the head of the design bureau? So this secret weapon is some kind of ballistic device. You'll find out soon. As soon as I get Sokolov out of here. Yeah. For some reason it feels kind of... nostalgic. Why not? It looks fine to me. But if you hate it that much, why'd you give it to me in the first place? Why'd he do that? Yeah. I'd think you'd want to make the lips move before bothering with the blinking. Whoever he is, he sounds like a crackpot. I get it. So this mask is based on a model somewhere. What do I do if I meet that guy? Why not? And if I do, never let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. So Khrushchev is using the KGB, and Volgan and the anti-Khrushchev forces are using the GRU? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Major, tell me a little bit more about the space race. Yeah, I heard that speech, but a lot of guys I knew weren't real happy about it. They said no one was going to make them go on a mission to blow up some damn moon base. I don't know. I never even thought we'd make it up into space. I guess it all depends on whether you have the will to make it happen. Major, didn't you say that the boss was in the SAS with you? Yeah, you know, the real heroes are never made public. The motto of the SAS. Major, have you been able to contact the boss? No good. You really think it's bad reception? Major. Uh, Major, what's this grand and design bureau Sokolov was talking about? But now Volgan's got his sights set on Sokolov. Major, do you know anything about this Gru Colonel Sokolov was talking about? Who is he? I will. Major, you said the enemy was KGB, right? What unit are they from? The 6th Directorate? The 9th? But I thought that was... Big. But they're assigned to protect party and government figures. I thought that only meant high-ranking officials and their families. And now they're being sent out to stand watch over a field exercise? What's really going on? <sighs> so he can't trust any other units? So what you're saying is, there's also a good chance that whoever doesn't want to see that happen is going to try and interfere. Major, what should I do with this wreck of a drone? Are you sure? But isn't this thing top secret? This is all top secret military technology. Are you telling me I'm supposed to just leave it here? Why? So we have to leave behind some kind of evidence that the U.S. was involved. Got it. Just one thing, though. I think they'd better redesign the landing impact buffer. People are going to get hurt landing that thing. Voivoda. Major, why did the boss defect? What do you mean? Yeah. What about you? Oh. Understood. Major, why did the boss betray us? But I thought I'd find out if I met her face to face. I thought for sure she'd tell me, but by completing my mission? <sighs> Major, what's this temptation Eva was talking about? Come to think of it, I did break a rib in the Virtuous mission. Maybe that's where Eva came from. I don't intend to. Major, I appreciate you allowing me to use weapons, but shouldn't I be carrying some rubles? Right. Powers was flying a U-2 on a spy mission for the CIA in Soviet airspace. He was shot down and taken prisoner. Yeah, I remember. Okay. DEFCON 2, huh? One week. I know. Yep. Scouting is the bread and butter of sneaking missions. Yeah, the performance is top-notch, and they're easy to use. These are some good binoculars. Why does Sigan care? Now I get it. Don't worry about it. I'll admit they're good binoculars, but what took him so long? Was it grinding the lenses? The style. Ugh. Major, why was the boss there? Did they detect my infiltration? Then how did she know? It couldn't have been a... Then what's going on? Uh, Major, I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. Yeah, if that's all right. Nostalgic. And that's where Zero comes from? Is that so? Yeah. Scientist, huh? Yeah. What's wrong, Major? I wanted to try it on. Ah, lighten up. Nothing. Major, that attack chopper is parked on the heliport. Yeah. 
The one that took away the Shagohod during the Virtuous mission. Major, that attack chopper is here. Yeah, Sigint. The chopper we were talking about is parked at the heliport. Yeah, no, some of it looks the same, but the overall shape is different. It's got stub wings and the cockpit canopy looks like an angular greenhouse. A flying infantry combat vehicle. A next generation chopper that's a little smaller than the hip. Maybe we should call it a hind. Yeah, it wasn't easy. And there's still three more of them left. Hmm? I'm aware of that. Yeah, I guess so. It's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Major, do you know anything about this, Tanya? Nothing? Why not? He must have checked up on Sokolov when he defected two years ago. If he had a lover... Maybe you didn't notice. Then he must have become involved with her after he was taken back to Russia. What is it, Major? Something wrong? Why not, Major? People change. Yeah, maybe. Major, I saw that Tatiana woman again. Or maybe she's such a VIP that all the data on her has been classified. Thanks, Major. I've made it to the ruins, but the door won't open. Why would she do that? Uh, hmm. Oh, that. Yeah, but she wouldn't bolt the door just because. I mean, why would she be so mad at me? I was just taking a little... Oh, yeah. Coincidence. And... Uh, I don't have any brothers. What? Yeah, but he got away. Sorry, Major. I'll get... Okay, but... Major, why are you so pissed off all of a sudden? You have something against this guy? Uh, hmm. well, what? Oh, Major, what do you want? I'm fine. R really? Hmm. No. All right. But you might not believe me when I tell you. Okay, then. When I was in that river, I saw... The other side. Yeah, well, the world of the dead, I guess. And the sorrow was there. He was sad. No, more than that. He said I was part of his sorrow. Huh? Sure. Uh, Major. Major! I can hear you. <sighs> Why's that? A hero whose name will never be known. I'll be careful. What the? My food's gone! I busted my ass to get those snakes, and now I won't get a chance to eat them! Major, what the hell is going on here? Eva! No laser sight? A laser sight. I heard the military was developing them, but... Uh-huh. Uh. What's up, boss? Okay, then. What is it? Oh. Well, I was listening, uh, but... Uh. Yeah. I never saw it used in Korea, though. Why is that? Morons. Concealing and disruptive, right? Like a tiger stripe pattern. Got it. You mean since World War II? Snatch mission. That's where you abduct an enemy officer without killing him, right? You needed a way to take out the guards and secure the target without making a sound. First time I've heard this. You've never told me any of this before. No. Why? Why didn't you tell me this before? Why now? Mind. Body and technique. Sounds like some sort of oriental martial art. Except you, right? Don't worry. I remember the drill. Yeah. Do we have to go through this again? Will. An unflinching will to survive no matter what. Uh, no. I can't smell. I can't smell. Nope. Not a thing. It's easier to go in undetected than with a group. Four years ago... The U-2 crash. Not a problem. I'll get Sokolov out without them ever knowing I was here. What's with you all of a sudden? That's not true. <sighs> okay. What's with the questions? No. Never heard of it. Nope. Good for you. Not really. Here we go. Paramedic, is there a point to all of this? Uh-huh. As always... Paramedic, are you a medic or a doctor? How was your reputation? Your reputation? How was it? 
That's not what I meant. Uh-huh. So? Your reputation, how was it? Hey, I'm a snake. So? Hmm. Is that true? About your nickname. So you were a quack. Uh-huh. Then why did they call her quack? Because she never shuts up. <sighs> I'd better get back to the mission. So you won't be able to see me naked then. I'll be retired from active duty by then. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's both pray that never happens. I call for a medic. I don't even want to think about that. That's my worst nightmare. Any soldier can perform basic first aid, but it takes a specialist to perform the more complicated procedures. I know a lot of guys who'd still be alive today if they'd had access to a medic. You bet. That's why you're called paramedic. No. Not a couple. We could save many lives. Sounds like a plan. Count on it. What? Nope. It's not a cigarette. It's a cigar. Not at all. In fact, there's a world of difference. There's nothing quite like the rich smell and mellow flavor of a cigar. And that thick, luxurious smoke is almost sensual when it... Probably not, but I don't want to hear it. Uh, it's not a cigarette. It's a... But that's just what some scientists think, right? I heard it was just a bunch of hoo-ha. Sure, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, those? Those are the helmet assembly and oxygen system assembly I use to make the halo jump. The helmet is fitted with a bayonet fastener that attaches to the oxygen mask. It's also got earphones and a boom mic. So why did you bring it up? Reminds you of something. The mask. That's what you've been thinking about? Mm-hmm. How would I... What? The fly. The fly. No. Never heard of it. Paramedic. You said you like movies, right? About the Major's code name. Yeah. He sounded like he wasn't sure whether or not Tom was the name of the tunnel that worked in The Great Escape. So was it? Was Tom really the name of the tunnel that worked? So it was Tom. Maybe. Why don't you know? You watch a lot of movies, don't you? But you've never seen The Great Escape. Why not? You don't watch movies that don't look interesting. And yet you've seen The Fly. Hmm. Nothing. Tell me, what other kind of movies do you like? Hmm. Forget it. Back where? Yeah. What? Lecture? Yeah. Whenever he put a new clip in his gun, he'd always load the first round by hand whether there was a round left in the chamber or not. It's a technique they teach in the Middle East. By making sure there's always a round in the chamber, you eliminate the risk of pulling the trigger with nothing to fire. He must have heard about it from someone or read it somewhere. In any case, he probably wanted to try it out for himself. And he was obviously motivated by vanity to show off his new technique. That's when you make mistakes. The battlefield is an unforgiving place. The only techniques you can rely on are the ones you've mastered through experience and practice. When he fired, he was bending his elbow sharply to avoid the recoil. It looked like he wasn't aware he was doing it, but that habit can be either a fatal flaw or a gift. Automatic weapons use recoil to operate, so if you don't let the recoil hit you, it interferes with the operating cycle of the gun. Basically, he shouldn't be trying to avoid the impact like that. But with a revolver, there's no need to let the recoil hit you. Just the opposite. Avoiding the recoil lets you reduce the strain on your hand and arm. That kid might just be handy with a high-caliber revolver. What do you mean? Uh, I... I don't know. For some reason, I couldn't help but point it out to him. Yeah. Huh? Where? This frog doll? Is he famous or something? Oh. Okay. But what's this frog thing doing here? <laughs> Right, so what's this Keraton doing here? Here? What did you have in mind? Some kind of drug. The label says pentazamine. Beats me. Anti-convulsant effect. So in other words, it can help keep your hands from shaking. This could be useful. Nothing. I just thought that if I took this drug when I used a sniper rifle, it'd help make my aim steadier. Paramedic. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? 
Huh? Ah, then you must have seen me naked. Better luck next time. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. <laughs> Maybe so. By the way, I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Of course not. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? Why? Huh. Hmm. Thanks. Huh? All right. What? Ocelot? I wouldn't think so. You mean like Snake? Maybe. Why? Is that strange? Why's that? Yeah, uh, paramedic. Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Uh, sure. Hmm. Hey, I didn't say anything. I was. Guess I'll have to mark it off the list. I'm just kidding. Yep. Looking good. Then where? Leeches. Yeah, the Bravo shot. It was a hydrogen bomb test conducted at Bikini Atoll on March 1st, 1954. I was at the American base on Kwajalein in the Marshall Islands when the ashes of death started falling from the sky. None. At least, not yet. But a lot of the guys who were in it with me are now suffering from thyroid cancer and leukemia. Some of them are dead already. One of these days. Anyway, I'd better get back to the mission. Are you saying you want to have my baby? Jeans. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, I don't follow. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? But genes don't control a person's fate. More efficient. You can't mass-produce human beings. My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. They'd never let that happen. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to you? Hmm. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Interesting. Forget what? I wasn't thinking. You can't see my face. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I know how dangerous they are. Me. But I know what you mean. I'm a dog sled fan myself. You've got to be kidding. Unmanned recon vehicle. That's a pretty scary thought. And what do you propose? A ritual dance. Are you serious? Yeah, but this is the Soviet Union. I don't think doing a dance is going to make the door open. Huh? Paramedic, it's me. Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Huh? A Venusian? Paramedic, do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? Hmm. <sighs> So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. And you're Sigint? I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Huh? Ah. Uh, yeah. To fit it with a knife. That's the idea. Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. CQC. A replica? And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Yeah, what about it? Remember the Alamo? Yeah, I know. Tell me something, Sigint. What does Sigint mean, anyway? Signal intelligence? So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Hmm. And you responded. You couldn't find a job? Why not? I know you've got social problems, but nothing. I mean, someone with your talent ought to be able to... Huh. Oh, yeah, I know. Infrared? But there's no way to avoid something like that. Emotions? The joy? Huh. A mobile platform? A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location? Sigint, Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Do you know what he was talking about? Sigint, Grannon was saying that Sokolov's research project was a tank fitted with rockets. Do you have any idea what he meant? Hmm. Yeah. Sigint, do you know anything about that philosopher's legacy Grannon was talking about? Right. Major, why did the pain explode like that? 
Major, why do they keep exploding? Legend? A microbomb? Uh, maybe they're ready to die. Yeah, they've got no unit to go back to. Not even a country. Yeah, no turning back for them. I wonder if the boss feels the same. What are they doing with American-made flamethrowers anyway? What do you mean? They're out for revenge. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Hmm. Good point. Yeah, but this is their territory. Why would they need this many traps here? Tactical research? That's what they're researching? They were working on those in America, too, weren't they? Bomb dogs? It's got two of them. Object 279s. Sigint. Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. I thought I told you already. Yeah. You think so? Maybe you're right. Eva, what kind of unit are those ocelots I fought a little while ago? Eva, where are you now? Pretty weak answer if you ask me. Eva. Hmm. Eva, is that attack chopper the escape route you were talking about? So what are we going to use? Something I've never been in. Not without a tough fight. What are you getting at? What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Eva, remember how you said today was a day of rest for the scientists in the hangar? What did you mean by that? I see. Eva, you said you got along with the boss, right? Your bags? You can tell if a dog's been highly trained or not? Oh, you had a dog. Nothing, it's just hard to picture you with a puppy. I haven't forgotten. Sushi, right? I want to try the Otten Frog. The Otten Frog? They have frog at sushi bars, don't they? But I heard they eat frogs as sashimi and tempura over in Japan. Paramedic. Oh. Okay. Eva, what kind of guy is Rykov? Anything else? Is that what you really think? I was hoping to get some useful info for becoming him. That still doesn't help me much. Anything more? Why are you so evasive about this? I see. Did he dump you? But... <laughs> Eva, what happened to Granin? And Granin was a hunting casualty. Granin was a guy who loved his country and pledged his loyalty. Does he suspect you? Be careful. Eva, about the escape plan. The ground effect vehicle. The Soviet Union has already finished testing one of those? I'll leave that to you. The Katyn Forest Massacre, right? Yeah, Germany blamed the Soviet Union, but the Soviet Union denied it, blaming Germany in return. Why are you telling me this? Volgen was? I knew he wasn't all there in the head, but this... Eva, that was some pretty nice driving. Ballsy, yet overwhelmingly accurate. That kind of driving isn't something you can pick up in a couple of days. It is not easy to jackknife a bike like that. Think I'll pass on going tandem, though. Even if I punch someone in the face? Really? Why? Uh -huh. Eva, about the contents of the backpack you got for me. The food is all gone. Did you eat it? Then who did? Yeah, all of my food. You didn't. Huh. What about the instant noodles? Eva... It wasn't just the noodles, all those animals I worked so hard to capture. So who was it? Ocelot? Why would he do that? No. <sighs> Eva, you didn't lose any of my equipment, did you? It's not that, it's just... Uh, I... that's... What? Uh-oh, oh. oh. Hmm. Eva, about the forty-five and the Mark Twenty-Two you showed me... You said you got them from a vault full of Western weapons, right? Eva, about this explosive. Yeah, wasn't this stuff developed in the States? So where did you get it? And you stole it from there? How? A vault full of secret Western technology should be under strict surveillance. Yeah, yes. Why not? A waste of time. What does that mean? Eva, what happened to Ocelot? He doesn't trust you. Eva. What? Eva, that Shagahod data you got from Sokolov. 
Are you really going to give it to Khrushchev? I know I want you to answer me. Uh, <laughs> Eva, didn't you take a picture of me when I was about to leave the waterfall cave? That's not what I wanted to know. Why did you take a picture of me? <laughs> what? Because I knew that the chamber wasn't empty, and you'd be dead if he pulled the trigger. I was tied up and it happened so fast. It was the best I could do. I feel a little strange, but it won't interfere with the mission. Huh. What other reason would there be? Right now, it's just the mission. That's not what I mean. Eva, you're all right. Yeah, I can't continue my mission without your help. What? Sure. Eva, there's a house here in the middle of the woods. It looks like a cottage, but what is it? Eva, I wanted to ask you about Ocelot. That's not what I meant. Aren't the Ocelots an elite unit? So how'd he get to be their commander? He can't be any older than 18 or 19. I can't believe he's already a major. Special treatment? Mm, no wonder he seems to have the right stuff. So who is this legendary hero anyway? Mm -hmm. A pregnant woman in the middle of a battle? Well, that's battlefield medicine for you. What about his father, this legendary hero? Are they dead? Because he was special. Eva! I couldn't get a hold of you for a while there. What were you doing? That's what I'm asking you. Because I want to know, that's why. Will you stop answering my questions with questions? <sighs> Eva, who is that Tatiana? Who is she? Can you find out a little more? Eva? So she's been with him since he was at the research facility? Are you sure about that? The Major said Sokolov wasn't the kind of guy who'd take a lover. Only natural. Hmm. Eva. Eva, how are things on your end? Are you going to be able to make it? Is there a problem? Detour. A present. What is it? Yeah. Hmm. What? Huh? What are you talking about? Do I have to? Why? Um. Three. But you only gave me two. Eva, about this Major Rykov. You said he had Colonel Class authorization, right? But his rank is Major, so how can he have Colonel Class authorization? Treated as the same rank. Even though he's a Major. Why? No. Nope. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. You want it? Do you want the calorie, mate? You want it, don't you? So you don't want it, then? Are you on a diet? Calorie made is supposed to be really good for losing weight. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Is what true? Yeah. Calorie made provides a nutritionally balanced source of energy, and it makes counting calories easy. That's what's supposed to make it good for dieting. I heard that all of the geisha in Japan use it. Yeah, really. Uh, I guess not. This is Snake. I've made it to the sneaking point. Yeah, for being dragged out of the sack at two in the morning, I did my best. Colonel, nobody loves being dragged away from their vacation. All right. So what is this important mission? I'll say it once and only once. I am not taking out any Metal Gears. And no saving some VIP or old man. If it's like a hot damsel in distress, I'll think about it. Rescuing who? What? Well, you said monkeys? Again. You said monkeys? This isn't really my thing. If you want your monkeys, you better ask Spike or Jimmy. What about me? I was on vacation. It's not like someone else couldn't handle a stealth mission. Why don't you make Sam or Gabe do the job? Isn't this just some monkey catching action? The professor? Natalie's grandfather? The one who came up with the monkey helmet? His classmate? He's Otacon's friend, too. All right. What are the details? I'm not against some monkey catching. But I'd rather be collecting pants. Right. I'm not going to be able to grab them when they're jumping all around the place. Gotcha. Commencing Operation Ape Snake. Understood. This is patrol. Requesting fire support. Over. 
This is patrol. The area is clear. Recommend discontinuing the state of alert. Over.